Hi Internet, welcome to the Grad Troy YouTube channel. It's Thin Lizzy Thursday, and this week we're listening to a song. What song are we listening to? I have no idea. You know it because you clicked the video, so you know what song we're listening to. I have no idea. We have... How many songs left? 78 songs left on the list. And there's also uh, eight Black Star Rider songs. But we're not doing Black Star Riders this, Black Star Riders this week, because we did that last week. So I have no idea what song we're listening to. We're going to find out. But while we're figuring that out, we're going to listen to a little bit of Danko Jones before we see what Lizzie song we're listening to this week. There was a time when I felt like I was all alone. Then I met you when you turned my world to go. And I pause for the copyright purposes. Ah, does the song sound like Thin Lizzy? Kinda. You are my woman, and I am your man. Without hesitation, gonna love you all I can. I was down, thought I'd never have a chance of love. Meeting you changed that. We fit like a glove. Yeah, we'll let it play out. Without hesitation, gonna love you all I can. You are my woman, and I am your man. No, 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 nobody, nobody understands that the two of us got something special, like a bond that can't be broken. Like a shield of protection This bond of ours is unspoken Every time I see your face I always know my place With my arms wrapped around you And a kiss just in case There we go. That is uh, Danko Jones, uh, You Are My Woman. Uh, that song sounds a lot like Thin Lizzy, according to the comments. And then one random comment about, uh, no, three random comments about uh, UBI. Ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, man. The, uh, the UBI comments are trolling me. All right, anyway, um, we're listening to In the Delta, a demo from the Black Rose Sessions. That features Huey Lewis on the track, so let's check it out. I could use a big old drink. <laughs> I'm gonna guess a very bluesy song, just a hunch. Ooh, 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 
So we're almost a minute 30 into the song, and we haven't gotten to a real, like, uh, lyric yet. So I can see why this one was, like, cut from the Black Rose era. Like, I can see why it didn't make the album, because uh, it would have been probably the weakest song on Black Rose. Uh, thus far, it's sounding like, you know, kind of like your standard blues fair. I wouldn't quite call it generic, because it does have an interesting, like, groove and melody to the riff. So I wouldn't call it generic, um, but it's, you know, it's, you know, borderline right now. But I, it leans it leans into the positive thus far. I've been working down in the Delta. Lord, it don't be no good. Ah, that's really good, though. That's really good, though. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a great vocal delivery. Um the charisma of the piece is like off the charts. Yeah, all right, that's working for me. I'm gonna rewind, let's get back to it. I've been working down in the delta. Lord it don't be no good when you're working out in the delta. All you need is blood. I'm into it. I think I sort of have a bias of just like, if a song is really bluesy, I like inherently and maybe more critical of it because a lot of bands like bluesy stuff is like sort of like their cheat code for not trying too hard because it's very easy to just like sort of go on autopilot with the blues. But this is actually very deliberate and very cool. So yeah, this works for me. That is a really great vocal. There's uh, so many different uh, tones to fill his voice, uh, like, you know, going high in his register and sounding more emotive, sounding more gritty with his lower register uh, and, you know, like the range of like character emotion where like each line, it's not just he's hitting the notes, but he's singing with emotion and character. And that's the thing that a lot of people sort of struggle with is that a lot of people can sing really well, but they can't give off the right emotion of the piece and it's, it sounds very flat. You see so many like, uh, especially like people who are maybe more like Broadway singers where they have this like great technical ability and like they just like, uh, you know, they're very clean and they're hearing all the notes right, but you don't feel necessarily the emotion from them. And that's not to say that like all Broadway singers fall into this category and there are certain singers who like you really feel the emotion of their vocals like uh, uh, Adina Menzel, for example. Um, you know, has the the range, but also like the emotive quality. That's why she sort of became a superstar in in her field. And Phil um, is singing with so much charisma. And when you compare it to like the Black Star Rider songs we've done, where like Ricky just like he doesn't have this emotional range, where like he's hitting all the notes right. He doesn't have he doesn't have that great of a vocal range in terms of like the notes he can hit, but his emotional range is also very limited, and he can't really nail what Phil is nailing on this demo that I've never heard before. So yeah, I'm uh this is great. Let's keep going. In the Delta.
there has to be a moral. See, my morale has taken a fall. Who says I'm resting on my laurels? Who says I got anything in common with you at all? Somebody else's dream So tired of living out Somebody else's dream More time I waste More time I must redeem Get so tired of living out Somebody else's dream Oh, sorry. I was uh, I was muted there. Um, sorry for the for the completely dead silence there. So what I was gonna what I was saying is that I think "Someday Salvation" is a better song than "In the Delta," and uh, I think that the song is a little bit long. I think it's performed really well. I think Phil's doing uh, great time. vocally. I think the guitars sound great, uh, but I think the song itself is a little bit dragged out. Um, not qu it just needs some needs some trimming. Needs to be tightened up a little bit. So overall, a uh, good song. Um, yeah, definitely curious to know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next week for more Thin Lizzy Thursday. Bye, everyone.